Hi everyone, hope you are all doing well. So welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be doing a no makeup makeup look. So usually I'm a very full coverage foundation person. So we'll see how this no makeup makeup look turns out. I'm going to be starting off the video with some skincare. So please skip that if you're not interested. But yeah, today I'll be doing my brows. I'll be doing some concealer and some lip gloss. Do a bit of mascara so yeah keeping it natural <laughs> so to start off with i'll be using my lineage lip balm i just like to start off with lip balm because my lips are always dry after i've finished applying everything my lips kind of end up being quite soft due to this uh, lineage lip balm that's how i kind of prep my lips the next thing i'll be using is polygumatic acid so this is like hyaluronic acid. Yeah, I just put it all over my face. It gives me a bit of hydration. Well, hopefully a lot of hydration, not just a little bit. So I'm gonna use two pumps. Just put that all over my eyes as well. So next thing I'll be using is the Drunk Elephant Vitamin C Firmer Day Serum. So one pump is usually enough. Yeah, I just put that everywhere really. I'm not sure if you're meant to put it near your eyes, but I do. <laughs> so if you've threaded your upper lip, which I have, it does sting a little bit. So just something to be aware of. So I also like to use eye cream. So this is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye Cream. So I think it's meant to be, well, I don't know if it's a day cream. I think it's meant to be a night cream but I like using it in the daytime, I think I put way too much on. My under eyes do have creases, so I like to keep my eyes hydrated. I do get dry under eyes, so eye cream usually always helps. So that's the eye cream. So next I'll be putting on my moisturiser, this is the Tatcha Dewy Cream. It's quite thick. I've got oily combination skin. This is actually really moisturising, so I would say it's really good for dry people's skin as well. But although I have combination oily skin, I do like my skin to be moisturised and hydrated. Um, it does have a bit of fragrance to it, not everyone will like it. I didn't like it at first, but to be honest, it's very moisturising and I do really like it because of that. So I usually always use a pore refiner as well, usually on my nose. So I'm going to go in with that now. On my T-zone as well. My nose pores are quite visible on, on my nose. So that's the reason why I put that on. If I'm going out, then yeah, I would actually put some sunscreen on. So this is the Cos RX SPF 50. So especially if you've got vitamin C on your face, it's good to put on sun, some sunscreen on. Highly recommended to always use a sunscreen. Sun, am I saying it properly? Some SPF cream. So yeah, just put that all over your face. So this one is really hydrating and moisturizing. Blends into your skin easily. It doesn't leave a white cast. So I really love this brand. Okay, so final part of the skincare prep, the primer. I'm gonna put some primer on. This is probably part of the makeup step, to be honest. I'm gonna include it in the skincare part just because um, it's a no makeup look without any foundation. So, and this, I've got oily skin, so this is a true matte primer and it is pretty mattifying. I get really oily as well, my face. So this will help with, I guess, mattifying my skin. Okay, so that's the skincare prep done. Okay, so now time for the makeup part. So I'm gonna start off with my brows and I'm gonna use Pink Honey Honey Glue Texture Hold in Strawberry. I'm gonna try and do the soap brows very naturally. So I'm not intending for the extreme fluffy look. I'm just literally gonna do it as natural as possible. So I'm just brushing it up but not 
too crazy looking. I'm just going to try to keep the natural shape. So it's better if I zoom in actually. So yeah, this is a close up. I just want the glue to kind of stick the hairs down. Okay, so the brows have dried down and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my CYO Cosmetics brow pencil and I'm just going to lightly go over the brows and again on this side just lightly go over the brows that side go over with the brush so I've got some emptiness here And that is as natural as the brows I want it to be. Um, I'm also gonna go in with dip brown. So this shade is in ebony and I'm gonna concentrate on the tail of the brown. And then again, Out of this brow, okay. So now I'm going to go in with some concealer. So I'll be using Kevin Aquine Sensual Skin Enhancer. So I'm using Zoeva Brow Line. 322 brush and I'm just cleaning up the brow okay once I'm happy with the shape then I'm gonna get a Beauty Blender, this one is the Morphe Beauty Blender, the small one, and I'm just concealing, carving out the brow, and just blending it in, blending the edges, so dabbing it lightly on the edge, and then under here, dab it very lightly. Dab it very lightly. So that's okay. So I'm just fixing this brow. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my face. So I'm gonna start off with a color corrector for underneath the eyes. So this is the Illamasqua Peach Corrector. Just applying it on with my finger. I'm just going to put some colour corrector here because I do have some pigmentation there. And then I'll put it on my Bot marks. So now I will be using my concealer to go over those areas and this concealer is Born This Way Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer and it's in the shade Warm Sand. So I'm not going to be using foundation, this is literally just concealer over the areas that I want. have a bit of extra coverage. So I'm going to get a damp beauty blender. So usually I wait for the concealer to sit on my face for a little while. But I'm going to let it just sit there for a little bit. About two minutes. Okay, so I've let it sit for about a minute to be honest. I don't have any patience. But I'm going to blend it in with a damp beauty blender.
Okay, so for this next step, I'm going to be using a damp beauty blender. This is the Morphe, and I'm going to be using Fenty Beauty baking powder in cashew. So this is not a translucent powder. This is a brown shade of powder, and I'm literally just using it to set that concealer. So make sure you blend in those lines before you put any powder down. Make sure you blend out all those lines. Once you're happy with that, place down that powder. And again on this side, make sure you blend any creases and then pack on the powder. And then I'm just going to put powder everywhere where I put some concealer on. And then I'm just going to get a brush and I'm just going to lightly all over my face, press in the powder. Oh, put way too much on my brush there. So now I'm going to be putting on some mascara and I like to use the Gosh UK Bimbastic uh, Swirl Volume Mascara and XXL Volume Mascara. So the green and black. First I like to use the black one, it's quite light, it lengthens and separates the lash. It's similar to the L'Oreal Telescopic. So I think everyone knows or has used the L'Oreal Telescopic. And then I'm going to go in with the Boombastic Volumizing Mascara. So yeah, that's the difference with the mascara. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing a lip liner. This is the Barry M in number six. So just going for a neutral brown colour. Now I'll be using the Huda Beauty in Spice Girl. Next I also just want to top it up with Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Gloss. So this is the final look, let me know what you think, but this is my no makeup makeup look which basically involves no foundation, but I did put brows on, I did put mascara on, I did put lipstick on and I did use concealer and corrector. So let me know what you think, is this too much, is this not enough, I mean I think it's enough for a no makeup makeup look. I could have done my brows a bit more naturally, I could have just left it as soap brows and literally just not filled them in, so I could have gone that extra step but I thought I'll just do my brows. For the purpose of the video I could have just skipped in filling it in and kept it even more natural. This is my no makeup makeup look. I can't live without lipstick and I love using mascara and I love filling in my brows. Concealer to be honest I could have skipped on that as well because I'm not really that insecure about dark circles. Personally I can skip on the concealer, the powder, the corrector, but a lot of people 
do love using concealer on an everyday basis so for that reason I did include the concealer. For me personally I love like wearing brows, concealing the brows and then mascara as well as lipstick. So yeah, this is my no makeup makeup look basically without any foundation. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Stay tuned for more. I'll start off my tutorials with a no like maybe like a soft glam look on the eyes and then I'll start doing some creative looks. So stay tuned. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. <laughs>